Welcome to the Custom Car YouTube channel. Today, I got the car loaded up. So today, we got to get the tractor running. And we're going to put some dummy wheels on this thing. Because I want these wheels and I'm going to sell them. I just put new tires on there not too long ago. But I got all the stuff off the front end I wanted. But we got to chop the cat. We'll turn that in at the same time we take the car in because we need a title to scrap the car and the cat. Yep, I got the trailer going too. One brand new tire. Um yep, here's the tractor. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get this tractor going. I think it should go. I put a new carburetor on it last year. I had the starter rebuilt a couple years ago. The starter's not very good. So I think we'll put some gas in it and a battery that I salvaged out of the out of the car. And then we'll un we'll back that on level ground. We'll unstrap it. We'll lift up the back end. Swap some dummy wheels on there. And then set it back down, lift up the front end. Somehow, I don't know how we're going to do that. And then we'll, we'll um, put some dummy wheels on there. Because I got some old ones I saved. So we'll just put all the dummy wheels on. I don't know what you call them, dummy wheels, spare tires, the, don't, the miniature donut ones. We'll put those on. That way we can get rid of those. Because they take cars with tires. As far as I know. Um, well, let's get started. So I got... We're going to put the battery and the gasoline in first. This old girl is a three cylinder. She's a three cylinder. A little battery protector here. Oh boy. Well, we got a side post and. It's got one of those. Well, we're gonna need some tools. Hmm. It's like a 916. Okay, we kind of got a problem. Opened up my tool kit and it all went on the ground. So we gotta find all these sockets. Get them back in there. It was all in here. I just got this thing. Sweet, man, sweet. All right, crisis diverted. We'll start with a 916. Go back over here. Let's go back over here. It's got big group 31. 31. Can't tilt you down anymore. Yeah, negatives first, remember that. See, that wasn't supposed to be like that either. So we'll just improvise. Just got two wires on the positive. This battery is completely bad. My brother got it and I tried it, would not work. I got a big jumper pack. Oh, convenient, the handle is broken. We'll have to get her out of there with a broken handle. These are heavy. New battery coming in. You know, side post probably isn't the best battery for this. Should we see if it sparks? We got three quarters of an inch of clearance. So we're probably going to have to figure out something. 
so it don't slide over. We could ratchet strap it. Okay, that's what we'll do. This side's going to be pretty easy. Positives first, right? Let's put the... Yeah, just like that. Might have to get a bolt. I think that'll work. I'm not sure I'm liking... We could do this again. We could strap that, put a tie on there. I think we'll do that. Now for the other one... I recycled the bolts out of that car to you. This one. You know, I think we can just bolt that on if we can find a bolt. And I don't think we can. Nice if this one would have had an eyelet on it. Hmm. And I don't have a bolt off hand. So we might have to put in this, this doodad. That doodad's not going to fit. Now we have to find a bolt. Got my Chinesium Craftsman ratchet. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, yeah. No, I just need a bolt. A 3 8 16. Hmm. Everything I do takes forever. All right, we'll be right back. I'm back. I found a bolt. I had one in the truck. Forgot I turned that into my service truck. Um, we got a whole bolt kit all the way up to three eighths. So yeah, I know this bolt could bottom out in there, and it only can go in so far. But I tried it when you guys were were off, and it, I think it's gonna work. So that's good enough. That bolt's tight enough it ain't gonna fall out. So I did come up with a solution. So this will hit the hood, I think, maybe. Or it looks going to be close. So I think if we put this on here with a zip tie, like we said earlier, I said earlier, something like this, I think we'll be okay. And if not, it'll just short out and put a hole in the hood. I could look in the back of the truck. I think I got some some old. Yeah, that's gonna be good. I think I I got some old uh, old style ratchet straps. I'll go check real quick. Okay, I found a piece of an old ratchet strap. I think we'll use that. I don't know if we can go under here. Okay. All right, now we're gonna have to figure out how to tie a knot. Hmm. I don't get too carried away with this old tractor. Although I did use it to do a lot of things. Alright, that's probably good enough for now. So, we could check the oil and put some gas in. Are you ready for some sparkage? I'm not worried, are you? That back one didn't latch, but I don't think it ever does. Flip you guys over there. I got some recycled gas out of the Grand Am. The race car fuel jug. put the rest in my truck. 
You know, I just filled that car up before it died. There we go. The gas is in. I think the dipstick is down on this side. And the hydraulic seem to be making a little noise more than usual. But I can't find any any low hydraulics. Yep, the stick is way down at the pan. And we are, I don't know, can you see that? Looks like she might be over full. It's over full by by three quarters of an inch. That might indicate some water in there. Probably be a good idea to pull the plug and see what's at the bottom. That's not want to damage any more damage the engine. So we're gonna do that. I'll be right back. Let me look and see what size it is. Holy crap. That's got a big plug on it. Okay, time for a big wrench, I think. I ain't got no sockets that big. Okay, I think I got a wrench. Maybe we should move you guys down over here. You still can't see it, can you? The camera would see there. Oh boy. Cheap. You know what? We were right the first time. I was right. Just didn't try it. I thought, I don't know. Why well, didn't try it? So what we want to look for is any water. Water will go to the bottom. And there's no water. Had a little spillage. And I changed oil on this a couple years ago too, so. I think we're good to go. I don't know why it's over full. Maybe some hydraulics are getting in there. I don't think so because they're full. All right. All right. Getting ready for the fun part. oil on my hands. Alright, you think it's going to start? I parked it over here like two months ago. It sits outside all, all the time. Keys are in it, that's good. And a convenient spot for you guys. Maybe on this wheel over here. Yeah, you can kind of see the key. So the throttle, we'll leave the throttle. We're in park. She's an automatic. We'll pull the choke. She would start. Not sure what's going on. It, it almost went and then she didn't. You don't want to cook the starter, that was a lot of cranks. She's cranking. 
I think she'll go.
Whoa, that was loud. Maybe you guys can hear me. Okay, I'm gonna go get the get the car down here. Sound like a plan? Well, that's the plan I got. Then we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna chop those exhaust tips off there. I want those. Somebody will need those someday. So maybe that's what we'll do first. I got a guy that needs a muffler. It's got two of them on there. One is brand new. The other one's a little old, and I don't think it's any good anymore. All right, I'm going to go get the truck and back her down here. Right in front, and we'll get after it. What do you think about that? That'll work. Right next to my brother's camper, though. I don't know. We better be really careful. Well, let's see how we get these things off here. Can I slide you guys up? Clickety click. Too many clicks. Oh, you gotta push the buttons. Look at that. It's got a hose clamp on it. The other side's got some wire. Hmm. So hose clampy. The sawzall. You know, I'm wondering if we should cut that cat off before before we um change the tires, just in case something happens. I'm not too worried about this muffler. It's, I guess it's shot. We'll get a we'll get a cutters, side cutters, a sawzall, a five sixteenths. You know, I'll probably end up fast forwarding through the stems when I'm waiting or running, and you know. I am getting old. I'm gonna be 50 this year. Still got a few more years to go, but whatever. Looks like some copper wire we probably should recycle. I think I did that. can recycle it. It's a magnet wire. It's like 14. 14 gauge. And I think if we get a pliers there's two screws in this thing. quarter inch drive screws. You know, maybe we just need a nut driver. And there's one in the tool kit. The Craftsman Tinesium Kit. Well, I can't believe this kit didn't come with a socket. Adapter for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, the, it's a quarter. It's just rusted. I just want the tip on this side. This muffler She's hollow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that tip out of there. 
I want it. They're like magnesium tips. Somebody will want to put them on their car. I know I would. That's why I made sure they never fell off. Side, we're gonna need a pliers and side cutters. All right, maybe we'll bend it out a little bit. Now, maybe we'll get on there, and that one broke off. Not good. Because you know what that means. That's not coming off. Hmm. It'd be nice if we get that off there. At least I could take the muffler, throw it in the car. I don't want that damn muffler. Well, something happened. One tip. It gotta be worth something. I'm guessing they gotta be worth 20 bucks a piece. Original. Oh, I'll throw this crap in the car. We'll get this other side off. I completely forgot this morning that I was going to save these tips. Okay. There's a hose clamp on there. On this side. Yeah, you guys can see it. On this side, we're, we're keeping this muffler on this side. Kind of a nice little, and she's welded. She's welded on there good. So maybe I could turn you guys. Sorry about the lighting, but we're outside, we're off site, and I'm just not very good at it anyways. I just want to get started making some YouTubes. It'd be nice if I could. Yeah, this is my trailer I built 20 years ago. And I left the middle open because we had changed the gears between heat races and features. Like all the time. Let's see if I can get you guys set up here. I don't know if that's going to work. Kind of on a bungee strap. And I can't see what you're looking at. Can you see me? You know, we need to go right down onto the ground. Right here. I'm going to cut it off right here. Right there. It looks pretty rusty. I think it's going to go pretty damn easy. I don't want to cut it on the weld though. We'll be cutting a long time. So right. Yeah, yowzer. Got it. Got it, as Ray would say. Can I say that? I said so we're under here. Should we crawl up to the front? I can show you why why I had to scrap it. So up there, you can see she's really crusty. And then up here by the spring, that is all gone. And then I'm going to go snake you under, no, yeah, well, whatever. And then right over, 
right over here. This piece broke off. And I put a couple bolts through it. Oh, see where the other one is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's right back under there. I put a couple bolts that it to hold it on. But my steering wheel is still off center. So it's not safe to drive. And this is really bad. This side's going to break. Yeah, I don't think in New York you could have this. She went past the old judge hammer. And then it's leaking some power steering fluid. Control arm bushings out of it. Windshield is busted. There's a hole in the driver's side floor over there. Yeah, she's all gone on the side. And the flange is very rusty. I could barely get under here. So we'll just cut it off. You know, we'll give it a little bit in case we want to weld it back on something. Thing just fell right down. Okay, this is my Craftsman 19.2 saws on too, by the way. Now, I wonder some of these GMs. Now, I don't know if it's just GMs, but they used to double pipe, so the front double walled, so the front might come off. It might take a little extra, but we'll see. And then I forgot to bring safety glasses. there and rip her off. We're just gonna, we're gonna rip this off. And this is it under here I think. Then we can switch some tires. We gotta go find some in the tire pile. I know where they are. I think I can eye them out by eye. At least I think I can. There's the cat and she's good. Yeah she didn't have no cat coat. That's a good cat. We can put it on something else. I kept her tuned up. I took the coil pack. I took the alternator. I took the EGR valve. <laughs> I took all the fuses, all the wire, or all the relays. I took all the headlights, the bulbs. We can always put them in something else. I just put a starter on there, but that's a China one. And it's going out. And I just put it on. I had the air conditioning evacuated at the shop I worked at. This car, I've never had to do nothing. The air conditioning, it's always worked. But when I took it out, and our machine's a little goofy, it did say it was a little low. But you know what? I don't care. So we could, we could look around under this part of it. It's right up here the Grand Amp, and this is about ready to break off. This, one of these bushings, I see it was out, and it's not that one. It's this side. Man, can you see that? That might be why the steering wheel is still off. Um... I've just put new wheel bearings in it, but I'm going to have to let them go. I don't want to spend the time taking them out. I know they'll come right out, but whatever. We'll lose a little money there. Maybe I'll take them off during the week. I'll have to bring a socket. I think it's like a 55 Torx. An excellent socket. Um... Yeah, let's, let's get motoring. Tanner's here helping me found some wheels. Hopefully they fit. And now we're going to go for it. I'm going to come in here with the tractor and the bucket. And I'm lifting this right up. Let's see what happens, huh? Maybe you guys can see, hopefully. 
hopefully the tractor will start too. And Tanner, Tanner's here watching us too. Or he's gonna help. You want me to pull these wheels off when you get it off the air? Yeah, we'll pull them off. Okay. Maybe Tanner will pull them off. Yeah, they don't come off. They stay in there. That's why I'm saving these wheels. They got everything. They're not too bad and they look kind of cool, I thought. Pull her right off. Oh, you forgot one. Oh, it's off. Pull her off. She'll come right off there. Save them nuts too. Oh crap. We'll have to find some nuts. So we'll put two of them nuts on. And then I'll find some nuts, some different ones, and we'll switch them out. Well, that's a Craftsman 19.2 impact too. You might have to kick it. Oh boy. Well, now what? You know, maybe we need to set you guys somewhere. Well, Tanner got it off there. You know, I can't see nothing on this damn phone. Could be because of the glare. Yeah, it's got glare. Boy, that's just a little one. Is it, is it fine how it is? Or? Yeah. Yeah, we'll let the junkyard have those. Right? Yeah, there you go. Right across from each other. And then we'll find some nuts. I got some nuts. Some wheel nuts in the shed. And then we'll put those on next. I want to keep these nuts with the wheels. They're all in good shape. Other side. We're going to the other side. We lifted it right up. Can you believe that? Uh oh. Well, we crushed in the bumper. I know this wheel come off because I just had it off when I was doing the repair for the for the broken. The axle broke off the mount. Maybe we'll get you guys in there so you can see it again. And then I think we're pretty good. Maybe some tail lights. Maybe the gas cap. I don't know. Save some of this. I'm saving some of this stuff. Yep. Oh, I, I did some welding on there, too. But this, it all broke away from up here. Here's the one bolt I put in. Oh, yeah. So I went to take this bolt out for the brake line. And, because I, I thought maybe I'd come in that hole and just put a nut on there. 
but that all broke away inside so then I'm like I just can't leave my brake line hanging so I welded her onto this big washer and I Tanner's back with the wheel yeah there you go that'll work maybe maybe we only have to put one nut, nut on you could but you well it's not going anywhere you got a point there. And, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna find some more nuts. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Not sure how we're gonna do the front. Okay, tractor time. Tractor time, right, Tanner? Aren't you impressed that I could pick that up? I don't know how we're gonna pick up the front, though. I'm thinking if you could. We might, we might just have to use the jack for the front, huh? Yeah, unless you want to do one at a side at a time, just lift it here. But, but the back is done. That was easy. We need, we need the easy button. You got an easy button, Tanner? I think we just lift up the side and... Uh... Alright, I'm going to level you guys out a little bit. I'm going to start that tractor up again, which I know it'll start. I'm surprised how well it's running for... There's something leaking up here. Well, that's leaking the power steering. Some for some reason's coming out of there. Well, that's where the reservoir is, but I think the hole's bad. Got the check, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. You know, if we put a big four by four in there, that might be better. Because there is nothing left of this frame. Crushing in. Okay. Yeah, I know them will come off too because I just uh, put new wheel bearings in there. But I feel like I should take my wheel bearings out. So I'm so sad. I might cry. All right, we have to do this other side. Same thing on this side. I 
I think we'll get all this done. I'm about done with this for today. You want me to do it back here like you did the last time? Or? Yeah. There's a slider in there. I'm going to slide this in right here. And we'll go for it. Looks See? Like the, looks like the car is off-centered a little bit. I think it matters if that wheel's off. There you go. Crunch. I got a no three and hollow that I'm not be able to use on 16. Are you gonna want to borrow it? No. Okay. Look at that. The back came off too. I guess that's all we would have had to do. Oh well. Yeah, we probably should find the. I should find some lug nuts, some old scrap or junkers. Junkyard, it's gonna be like, like, why well, you got all them wheels on there? I'll be like, well, I have to get it on the trailer somehow. That's gonna be my excuse. Although I drove it on the trailer with the old wheels. I right, got her. It's good. So we're all done crunching for now, unless I want to get them wheel bearings out of there, and I might. I might come back and get those. All right, this side. This side, we're stuck. I think I can get it. Oh, good catch there. He's really rusty. There is nothing left of this car. Yeah, I see that. I got all the life out of it. It's 320,000 miles. No, 323. 323. Okay. That's that's the car for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to try to come out. And my videos are going to be kind of lame for a while. And I'm just getting started. I, I need to post videos. I need to get views. I need to get subscribers. So, um... Gotta get started somehow. These are my videos for now. I'm just gonna try to take you out every day that I go. I'm just gonna take you along with me. So, uh, the first video I post, the videos might get out of order. I don't know. So the first video I did post was for the for the F-150, this truck, this gym, and we did the key, which we only had one ignition key when I bought it. So, so we used the launch, and we did the key thing eight times, and we cut it on my cheap key cutter. So if you want to watch that video, that video is my first one I posted, which I know in another video I'm going to post, I said that, I was, so they might get out of order a little bit, but once we get rolling and get things figured out, how to do this, which I have no idea how to do YouTubes, but I've always wanted to, I built my garage for it. The garage ain't done yet, but when I built that garage, I had the YouTube studio in the mine. So I need to get started at it. That's the only way it's ever going to work. So um, over and out for now. Please like and subscribe. See you later. Thanks. We're going to drive the tractor again. Oh, it's like driving this tractor. Don't you? The tractor. we got to park it somewhere. But not where it was. We gotta find a different spot. Yeah, where can we put you guys? 
It'd be nice if I could put you guys right back here, but it'd be nice if this thing had a magnet on it, huh? Right? She's a Ford. Well, that's good. Put the tractor away. Over and out.